Today, I'm going to be rebuilding a team with everybody in the NBA in their prime. And the way I chose the team was just by thinking about the team that would be impacted the least by this, and I thought of the Houston Rockets. Also, I had to make some quick overall adjustments. Blake Griffin definitely needs to be a little higher, and CP3 at no point in time was a 99 overall. No way. So, with all that said, we are going to be going ahead and getting into this Houston Rockets rebuild with all of these great players sitting in free agency and our available cap space. We might be able to make something happen with this team. So, first of all, let's make some trades. I'm going to make a blockbuster to add Max Struess and Gabe Vincent, and then I went ahead and added Kemba. Walker, who for some reason was playing basketball for free. His contract was glitched, but in real life, he has a one-year deal, so I gave him that just so we didn't have any advantage. Then I traded Eric Gordon for a valuable future first-round pick from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Some of these moves were just to clear cap space and add players who were on cheap contracts to give us a chance to contend. I added Clint Capella in an absolute steal of a trade. Then I added Pat Connaughton and Joe Ingles from the Milwaukee Bucks, and I added Added defensive mastermind Matisse Thibel. One final move I made was trading Clint Capella for Devin Vassell and Keldon Johnson, and then I went into free agency and signed Dwight Howard. These free agents are back in their primes, so I was able to make some solid additions to the roster, and I thought our team looked pretty good, but there were some powerhouses around the league. Just look at the Boston Celtics. They are ridiculous. They're going to be so tough to beat. At the All-Star break, Dwight Howard was an All-Star starter, LeBron was the All-Star captain, and Melo had signed with the Sixers. A lot of the free agent guys had taken mid-level exception deals for good teams, making some of these good teams even better. I was able to make a move for Clint Capella, and also I traded Clint for Tyrese Halliburton. So I made some improvements to our roster, including signing Derek Favors and free agency, and our team looked deeper, but looking at some of the other rosters, it might be tough. Also, if you do go on to enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. Only a little over 3% of you all who watch my content are subscribed. It was still a good season nonetheless. Despite the fact that we didn't have the craziest team, we were still putting together wins, and it was good. Luka was still the MVP despite the fact that we had all these great players, and Dwight Howard was the DPOI. The All-NBA teams were cool to look at with some of these players back in their primes. D Rose was All-NBA second. Some how Gordon Hayward was all NBA second. Not really sure how that happened with guys like Melo out there, but hey, it happened. And also, we saw James Harden make all defensive first. The Boston Celtics, man, they are ridiculous. I don't know how we're going to get past them. There's some powerhouse teams in this league, like I said, but we were still able to play really good. A great team considering what we started with, but in the first round, the Minnesota Timberwolves beat us in five games, and they really didn't add anybody crazy. They got like prime Jay Crowder, I guess, but we got cooked. I don't know how that happened to be honest. And then we saw a Pelican Celtics matchup. That Celtics team is going to be crazy, but it's time to make some changes. I added DeJounte Murray in the offseason, but immediately traded him for the third pick. This is the when Binyama draft. We need Victor on this team. I went ahead and tried to make a move so we could get Victor and boom, we had it done. The first overall pick is ours and we're going to get Victor Wenbinyama to add to this team. I had cap space in free agency, so I was able to sign Carmelo Anthony, and we really don't have much depth. I signed Joe Ingles and Lou Will, but they started falling off, so that was kind of rough. But our team still looks good. Considering we just added Melo, I would consider the offseason a success, and we were able to get DeJounte Murray back somehow, and that added some depth to the roster. Also, I got Jay Sean Tate. He's younger than Joe Ingles, so I thought, why not? Then I traded Tyrese Halliburton for LaMelo Ball. So even though we were 18 and 27, there was definitely some upside for the season as we saw Blake Griffin get his knees back and he's teamed up with LeBron James in LA. D Rose was all NBA second and Melo was all NBA third for us. 
Dwight was all NBA first, and despite a good roster on paper, everybody's in their prime, so we couldn't even make it out of the play-in. It was rough. The Cleveland Cavaliers ended up winning the NBA championship. Their team's already crazy in 2K, and then you add prime Kevin Love, but our team's looking kind of crazy with the player progression. We've got a deep rotation, a lot of 90-plus overalls, and I wanted to further bolster it by adding Josh Giddy in a trade for Devin Vassell and Jay Sean Tate. I also picked up DeAndre Hunter, which gave us a legitimate seven-man rotation. We didn't have that much depth, but we had a lot of good players, so we'll make it work. D Rose and Westbrook were teamed up in New York, which I thought was kind of crazy. And in the NBA playoffs, we had the OKC Thunder and we lost again. The Lakers were facing the Cavs in the finals and the Cavs repeated as champions. So I decided to make some more big moves, trading Melo for Paul George and the second overall pick in the NBA draft. Also, the NBA had abolished the salary cap, so I knew it was time to go crazy. We went ahead and picked up Michael Porter Jr., an 88 overall, to help this team. And even with the salary cap off, I think the hard cap was on, so we weren't able to make any big free agency additions, but the team's depth is still good nonetheless. I went ahead and traded Paul George for Anthony Edwards just so we'd get younger. I felt like that was a no-brainer. Then I traded DeJounte Murray to bring Tyrese Halliburton back to the team. Our rotation was crazy for this year, and I was able to pick up George Hill, Cleveland Cavaliers legend, to go ahead and help out this team. We had an eight-man rotation, even a nine-man if you count Trey Burke, and we were absolutely hooping. Going into the playoffs, we were the number one seed, and we went ahead and we beat Utah in just four games. Then we had the Sacramento Kings, and we beat them in five. In the conference finals, we had Luka and the Mavs. That was light work. We're moving on to the finals against the Indiana the Pacers, who had prime Serge Ibaka and Avery Bradley, along with Scoot Henderson. And it was an easy sweep. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe.